Hi, my name is Kelly Cork and I'm an astrophysicist at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory is part of the Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian's institution's mission is to increase and diffuse knowledge. So you know all about the museums on the mall, and that's where you diffuse the knowledge, and we're one of the nine research centers that actually increases the knowledge or is, is studying the universe. My background, my educational background, I have three degrees from the University of Michigan, go blue. Um, we have, um, I have a physics degree undergraduate. I uh, reapplied to Michigan and then ended up getting my master's and PhD. Um, and during that time, I, I got the opportunity to do a year long internship at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory in Cambridge because my advisor knew someone at the, at the observatory. And I spent the year there and fell in love with it, with all of the different things that they do, all of the public outreach, as well as all the research, and so applied to stay on. And they haven't gotten rid of me in 17 years. <laughs> this is Parker Solar Probe. Um, we so my other previous circus. jobs, I was a cheerleading coach. So I was a, uh, I sold candy at a candy store. Um, I was a major event planner, so I, play, I planned football uh, tailgates for 3,000 people. I, um, what else did I do? I was actually also a nuclear engineer. But my past experiences and my past job experiences really do impact what I do on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis with project managing a large project like Parker Solar Probe and, and the uh, Solar Probe Cup. So I had to learn how to budget things. I had to learn how to bring on the right people with the right expertise. You know, the right caterers um, is very similar to finding the right person who can actually machine a part for you or drill a part for you. Um, so that, those were all skills that were transferable. So they didn't seem exactly relatable at first, but they, the job skills do carry on. There, there have been so many people who have influenced me. Um, my grandmother was a large influence in me that always believed in me and pushed me towards education, whether it be music or books or math. Um, my grandfather was also a, a great uh, proponent. My father and mother are very supportive. My PhD thesis advisor, so my professors, were so integral in um, teaching me how to do not only the science, but how to be a good scientist. Um, and that means sharing data, that means collaborating, that means teaching other students. So all of those things were taught, were taught from them. The advice I would give to a middle school student is to really figure out what problems you want to solve and then train yourself for that. So I want to solve the sun. I want to solve why space weather happens and that the only effect we ever see of it is the beautiful aurora. So figure out then what you need to do in order to make that happen. That means you have to build another satellite or if you have to create a new medicine or if you have to um, do a new water filtration system to make clean water, figure out the problem you want and then train yourself to, to do that.